Aboriginal people have a long and vibrant history. Today, it is hard to see this history, our culture, our heritage, and our faces when we look around. Once our people had thriving communities at places like Gary Point. We had places to gather, share our culture, stories, and history. Today, we cannot see what was here before, where we lived, who we were, where we once picked blueberries. Now we see only empty fields, construction, and are left with stories and images of what was. Today, we share and learn about our culture and about who we are, about where we come from and where we are going. What's your name? Brad Anderson Klein. My name is actually Cassandra. <laughs> I'm German Boyne. Are you proud to be a native? I'm definitely proud. Yes, I am actually. <laughs> where do you think natives are today in society? Um, blending in. At the brink of survival, not dying nor thriving. There's lots of us, but at the same time, there's very little of us in Richmond. Kind of thing. Do you think that natives are all seen the same? Mm, yes and no. Why? Depends how they act, or it's just it just depends on the person. Hmm. Not really what culture they are. In European history, we are noted as more savage beasts. Uh, you know, not civilized, not anything really. Smart. So do you think being native prevents you from doing anything? Um, no, actually. Anything. No, I hope it never will. Our dreams have given strength to our voices. And today we have a place to gather, learn, and explore our path to where we are now and where we can go from here. A place where we feel we belong, where we can express ourselves. Where we can work together for today and towards tomorrow. Today we celebrate and share all that we are, where we come from, and the stories yet untold. Um, you will probably see us throughout the day, or you won't see me, but you'll see them throughout the day, standing around, taking pictures, interviewing people, all that stuff, so don't be scared, you guys. Wanna be where the wind is breezy, so alive.
National Aboriginal Day uh, is very important because it's a way of kind of showcasing, like gathering ourselves and also showcasing ourselves to the rest of the community and inviting the community to celebrate. To come together and express their opinions and voices and how they can make the Aboriginal community, if not better, then, you know, help it progress more. There's so much um, experience and, and intelligence and kind of a emotional wealth, if that makes sense, uh, cultural richness, each locked into all these individuals who are isolated from one another. And so bringing people together and creating opportunities for us to share our stories and to share our uh, experiences and advice and whatever with one another, um, I would really like to see that continue. The thing is, that over a period of time, uh, there becomes a kind of a settled feeling. Right? The, the history of Richmond Aboriginal people, it's kind of, it's not entirely unique, but it's very, very, uh, very interesting. And I think for myself in, in, you know, hearing about, like getting a longer view of the Aboriginal history on this particular island has given me a much more rooted feeling. I see us maybe coming out and being like, you know, we're here. We need more help. And I see in five years that we'll actually get that kind of help. This project, National Aboriginal Day Celebrations, and where we are today, comes from the gifts of time and energy of many people in our community. We thank you for your support and for helping make this a reality. Thank you to the Askayak Youth Council. Thank you to the community members who volunteered their time. Thank you to the artists and performers for sharing this day. Thank you to the Pathways Advisory Committee for their support and the staff that worked to make this vision real. And thank you to our funders and contributors who provided the resources to allow us to complete this film.